Right, hello there guys. Welcome back to a new video. And in fact, welcome back to my first review. Um, today, I'm going to be reviewing the new tyres I have got on my car. I've put about 4,000 miles on these tyres already. And I'm just going to give you my honest review. So let's jump into it. Right, so as you can see, this is the tyre tread. Um, I don't know an awful lot about tyres. However, I believe these are called Speed Nines, I think. And this is something to do with how the water displaces. Um, these are actually really, really good grip. Um, I, as I said, I've driven 4,000 miles roughly on these tyres since I've got them. Um, and I, they, they give me incredible grip. Um, I really do think they're good value for money. Now, I don't know an awful lot about tyres. Um, however, I have done some research, done some facts, and I've looked at some scores. Um, so the first score I want to give you is the load rating. The load rating is 98. I don't know what that means. If someone can specify, please let me know in the comments. Um, the speed rating is a class H. Um, and according to a certain website I'm on, which is called Boss Tires, um, they are summer tires. However, I've done some research on some other websites and these seem to be all season tires and they are good, especially in the rain as well. Right, now these being a budget tire, these are not run flat tires. Um, however, they are quite fuel efficient, I believe. These are a fuel efficiency rating of E and a wet grip rating of C. Oh, that kind of came out funny. Um, and finally, the noise rating is 71. Um, I have no clue what any of these numbers mean, so if you do know, please let me know down in the comments. Um, but I thought I'd chuck them figures in, as obviously people that know what they're on about when they come looking for tyres can use these numbers and use my review. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna talk to you about my personal experience with these tyres. So I am now on some tyre review website called tirereviews.co.uk and this by the looks of things gives me a general overview of people's experiences with these tyres and it's put it down into a percentage. So dry grip percentage overall is 66%, wet grip is 45%, road feedback is 66%, handling sadly is 48% however I tend to believe otherwise wear is 60% comfort 75% and 59% of people would buy these tyres again now based on these figures alone finally we got there um, I would say that the dry grip I'd give I'll say about a 9.5 out of 10 on sometimes the wheels do slip ever so slightly Wet grip, I would say these are actually probably about an 8 out of 10. Um, sometimes it slips, but very, very rarely, and I've never aquaplaned on these tyres yet either, or lost any form of traction in the rain. Um, in terms of handling, I say these handle pretty well. I mean, I've chucked this into corners, I've chucked this, should I say, not across roundabouts as in crashing them, but you know, I've gone quite quick over roundabouts. And this car does not seem sketchy at all on the tyres. Um, in terms of road noise, when you first buy these tyres, I would say they are quite noisy. I don't know if that's the same with all tyres because this is the first lot of brand new tyres I've ever ran. Um, but they are rather noisy and they are noisy for at least the first 500 to 1000 miles. Once they've sank in properly, um, they do quieten down quite a bit. And at the end of this video, I'll show you a cockpit view and give you a quick talk as well whilst driving about. So I would highly recommend buying these tyres if you're looking for a more budget tyre because um, this, they're not, I don't know if they're budget tyres or whether they're low mid range sort of, they're around there. Um, but I would highly recommend these if you are looking for a cheaper tyre. Um, these tyres I believe were £45 a corner from where I got them from, I got them done in a place called Watling Tyres which are nationwide across the UK and are really helpful people and I can't thank them enough. They've worked on this car a lot, i.e. doing the MOTs, um, giving me new tyres, um, talking my wheel nuts and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do now, because it is 
starting to rain quite bad. We are going to jump in and I'm going to finish off this video with a quick cockpit review. Um, and yeah. Right, so now just to end this video, I am going out on a quick little drive so you can see how this car handles and how quiet it is actually on the road. Uh, now as you remember for, uh, previous in this video I said that uh, I have put about three to 4,000 miles on these tyres already and as you can tell we're going over some quite rough terrain at the moment and you can't really hear tyre grumble at all. Um, it, these tyres actually make the cockpit quite pleasant because I, I, I know that some other tyres like some Michelins and stuff like that can be quite grumbly uh, but these are actually quite quiet and as I drive around these roads in the rain um, they, they don't feel sketchy nothing like that like there, there is a lot of grip on these tyres unless you go over a manhole cover which I just done um, but yeah as I've also said um, these tyres, I've, I've pushed my car to its limits on these tyres uh, to see how well they handle um, and you can chuck this car into corners and it will just grip. Um, so I, I would say these are quite trustworthy tyres, especially for a more budget tyre. Um, I think when I got these done, I think that was about 45 quid a corner, I think these were, uh, which in terms of tyres is not too bad at all. And driving on these as they are you would think that these are 60 70 quid tires but they're not um one question i can't answer for you is whether they'll be good on a racetrack or not um because i haven't gone on a track then i don't really plan to because it'll probably kill the car um and i probably wouldn't trust a budget tire because it might actually wear the tread down quite quickly um but other than that, for a budget tyre, I would probably say that these tyres are some of the best tyres you could buy for this budget. Um, if not, probably the best of the budget range is what I'd say these are. Um, so yeah, I hope you found this, um, this review helpful. Um, please let me know down below if you did. I've tried to be as descriptive as possible when reviewing these. Um, tires really aren't my thing. I don't know an awful lot about tires at all. Um, so I've tried to make this review as honest as possible. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to conclude this video. So make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, oh, and also don't forget the little notification bell. So yeah, anyway, see you guys in the next video.